Marianne Davies, a silent cinema actress, was tainted by history. Her friends and contemporaries regarded her as a competent artist during her prime. Her legacy, however, got increasingly warped with time. By the time she died, the media had painted her as an untalented fake who had risen to power via her connections. So what happened in the interim? Davies' life was never ordinary, from her passionate decades-long love with one of the world's most powerful men to the horrific scandal that nearly wrecked her career. Her reputation was eclipsed by her adulterous connection with William Randolph Hearst, a member of the Ziegfeld Follies and a box office star in the 1920s. Marianne Davies was a celebrity during the Roaring Twenties. She appeared in roughly four dozen films, both silent and talkies. Many others, however, doubted that she rose to stardom only via her talent. Davies was known as the mistress of William Randolph Hearst, a businessman, politician, and most importantly, a newspaper publisher. Hearst, a man of enormous influence, was even alleged to have ignited the Spanish-American War by publishing a spate of inflammatory pieces. It's no surprise, therefore, that some thought he was instrumental in launching Davies' career. Marion led a scandalous lifestyle which didn't help matters. She was also said to have had relationships with other Hollywood men, including Charlie Chaplin and Thomas Ince. But it was her supposed portrayal in the 1941 picture Citizen Kane, widely regarded as the finest American film of all time, that did the most harm in Davies' image. Davies was thought to have inspired the character Susan Alexander, the untalented mistress of media magnate Charles Foster Kane, who was allegedly based on Hearst. As a result, Davies earned a reputation as a frivolous, shallow actress, boosted only by her association with Hearst. Davies' true tale is more intricate than that, but like other important women of the era, she was in a vulnerable situation since she was standing behind a strong man. As a result, whenever she went, tragic occurrences and controversy followed her. While she excelled in humorous parts, Hearst was determined to turn her into a serious actor. Hearst, on the other hand, stayed married to his wife. Despite this, Davies admired him, but Hearst's wife reportedly refused to accept a divorce. Furthermore, there was suspicions that Davies was having an affair with Chaplin. Although Hearst suspected Davies was seeing another man, he actually assumed she was dating film producer Thomas Ince. Ince died under strange circumstances in November 1924, shortly after returning from a party aboard Hearst's yacht. Some assume that Hearst poisoned Ince, but an examination subsequently revealed that he died of severe gastritis. He died at his home after apparently concealing his declining health, ulcer, and heart problems. Despite the autopsy, his death generated controversy since allegations persisted that he had been assassinated by Hearst over a dispute about Davies. Click here to watch this video next.